hi guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel now this is a collab video with my youtube friend Chantel over in the channel princess chan nails now this is what she came up with and we really didn't have a thing going we just chose the color pink and we went from there so down below in the description box i'm gonna link her video so you can subscribe to her channel and give her a thumbs up on her video now moving on to my video my nails are already prepped with a thin layer of acrylic uh, to prevent any pigmentations to my natural nail and i am using this like rustic pink um i'm not sure on the name but i will write it down in the description box as well as everything that i use for this set of nails and um, my nails are in the coffin shape so whenever i'm working on my own hands i like to work with small beads around my cuticles just to prevent any of the acrylic touching my skin and uh, preventing any lifting Okay, now on my left hand, for my middle finger and my thumb, I'm going to be doing this marble look. Now, the way that I'm doing it is picking up a semi-wet bead of white acrylic and then just slightly dipping it in a dark gray acrylic and placing it on the nail and then just giving it a quick little nudge so the black could kind of show off. You don't want to do it too much because the white is the main color. The black is just that marble look. Now, it's better to work with small beads when you're doing this because you'll get more of that marble look. So as you can see here, the white is always on top and the black is just a little bit and it's always on the bottom. Now I just give it a quick little move and then that's what makes it look kind of marbly. So once I'm done with the black and white marbling, I'm going to come in with a pretty wet bead of the same little rustic pink color and then just blending it in, making it look marbled into the black and white. So here on my thumb, I'm doing the same process as my middle finger. I'm just marbling it in, picking up the white beads and kind of blending it in, pushing it just a little bit so the black could kind of come out, but I want the white to be the main color for this marble now. And like I mentioned before, make sure you work with pretty small beads because that's what's going to give it that really pretty marble look. Now for this nail, again, once I'm happy with the way it looks in black and white, I'm going to go ahead and add the pretty wet beads of the pink and then just blending it in, making it look like if it was part of the marble effect. Okay, so once I am done with the design, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate all the nails and then I'll move on to filing and shaping the nails. So whenever I start filing my nails, I always start at the edges holding the skin back so I won't cut myself with the file, just giving it that nice sharp look. Now when I'm done using the hand file, I'm going to move on to my B file and then this is my favorite drill bit to use around the cuticle. I like the way that it finishes it off. It gives it that nice flush look.
So moving on to the design of the nails, I'm coming in with this pink striping tape and then just placing it on two of my fingers of each hand. Now I really didn't buff my nail, I gave it more of a rough surface because it gives the tape more of a, a texture to grab onto. So now I'm just going to go ahead and place some crystals on my nails using my regular glue that I use for my tips and a wax pencil. Okay, so once I'm done placing the crystals on my nails, I am going to come in with my Apri's gel top coat and just finish up the nails. Now this is really it for the rest of the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. And do not forget to stop by Princess Chan Nails and like her video and subscribe to her channel as well. And I will talk to y'all next time, okay? Bye!